Um, the president earlier this week instructed the intelligence community to conduct a full review of the pattern of malicious cyber activity related to our presidential election cycle. So he's requested this report be completed and submitted to him uh, before the end of his term. As you all know, in 2008, there were intrusions into both the Obama and McCain campaigns. There haven't been any noted episodes in 2012, but the president asked uh, to go back with what we know now to make sure that we're using every tool possible um, as a means of due diligence. And then, of, of course, in 2016, uh, our intelligence community determined that there was malicious cyber activity intended to interfere with our elections. Uh, in the high confidence assessment that was released uh, this past October, uh, the intelligence community made very clear that this was activity directed uh, by the highest levels of the Russian government. So as we've made clear, uh, we are committed to ensuring the integrity of our elections, uh, and this report will dig into this pattern of malicious cyber activity time to our elections, take stock of our defensive capabilities, and capture lessons learned to make sure that we brief uh, members of Congress and stakeholders as appropriate. Well, what we uh, determined um, in mid-November, a few weeks ago now, is that state election systems did not, the federal government did not detect any increased malicious cyber activity on election day or related to the administering of the elections. So um, we've already made that determination, and that's something we've announced publicly from here. But I want to be clear here that um, this is not an effort to challenge the outcome of the election, that we have acknowledged um, uh, who won the election. It wasn't the candidate that the president campaigned for. Um, and so the president has actually uh, gone out of his way to make sure that we are providing for a seamless transition of power. Um, so we're not calling into question the election results. We are taking seriously our responsibility to protect the integrity of those elections.